Hello friends, welcome to Get My Job channel. In today's video, we'll see top 10 questions for cracking electrical engineer's job interview. Topic for today's video is UPS, Uninterrupted Power Supply. So friends, prepare for the interview for the job of electrical engineer. Let us know top question on UPS which are asked during the electrical engineer job interview. To support your preparation for interview, I'll be publishing series of such videos on each aspect of electrical. To get such videos first hand, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. What are the main parts of UPS and their functions? There are four main components in any online double conversion and interrupted power supply system. Rectifier. A UPS rectifier performs two very important roles, charging of the batteries and converting incoming utility power from AC to DC. UPS batteries. As a heart of any UPS system, batteries are tasked for supporting the connected load during the utility power failure. Inverter. The inverter within a UPS accepts DC from DC bus which is supplied by the rectifier and the battery and converts it to the it to the AC power supply output. Static bypass switch. A UPS internal static bypass circuit provides an, imp an important line of defense in event of UPS failure. What is typical specification of UPS? Input connection. It should be dual input hardwired. Nominal output voltage 220, 230, 240 volt AC single phase. Output voltage regulation plus or minus 2% static plus or minus 5% dynamic at 100% load change. Less than 1 millisecond response time. Overload capacity 150% for 5 second or 125% for 1 minute online or 1000% for 5 millisecond on bypass. Efficiency 92% with nominal linear load or 91% with nominal computer load. So friends basically these specifications are indicated here for single phase UPS and these why I have given those those here are basically for indicating you the tolerance levels of UPS output voltage regulation overload capacities and efficiency requirements. What is THD specification for UPS? Total harmonic distortion speci specification for UPS is within 3% for linear loads and 6% for non-linear loads. What are the protection provided for UPS? Protection against short circuit, overload, low input voltage, surge in input voltage as per UL1449, overhead in the UPS. What is the merit of using IGBT instead of transistorized rectifier in UPS? The main advantage is of using the IGBT or insulated gate bipolar transistor or other types of transistor devices are its high voltage capability, low on resistance, ease of drive, relatively fast switching speeds and combined with Zero gate drive current makes it a good choice for moderate speed high voltage applications. They have much more current handling capacities than the standard BJTs or MOSFETs. IGBT rectifiers are high current capacity rectifiers designed with IGBT acting as a switch. What is typical monthly maintenance schedule for the UPS? The typical activities to be carried out on monthly basis for UPS are conduct a visual inspection of UPS, making sure the overall environment is clean and free of dust and debris. Inspect and test the room's ventilation system to ensure proper operation. Inspect batteries for proper electrolyte levels and signs of leak. If a battery monitoring system is in place, review the results of battery monitoring system. Measure the ambient temperature. Measure the battery float charging current. If a generator is a part of building emergency power system and fits the UPS, it should be tested monthly. 
and typically in addition to this you should look at cleaning of the filters if the filters are clogged for the UPS. What checks are required for UPS quarterly? Visually inspect in equipment for loose connection, burned insulation or any other signs of wear. Measure the voltage of each cell or battery block. Measure the ambient temperature and negative post temperature of at least 10% of cells or the battery blocks. If possible, check all the cells. What checks are required half yearly for UPS? Inspect and repair battery connections as needed. Since loose or dirty connections can cause a buildup of heat at the battery terminals, decreasing system capacity, reducing battery life and creating potential fire hazards. Visually check for liquid contamination from the batteries and capacitors. Clean and vacuum UPS equipment enclosures. Test the UPS overall operation. What checks are required to be done yearly for UPS? Take the system offline and inspect the components for the sign of corrosion and heat damage. Conduct thermal scan on electrical connections using a diagnostics tool that identifies hotspot invisible to the human eye. Load test the battery bank to determine its capacity, which may require disconnecting the UPS from the power source and allowing the batteries to supply power to the connected load. Remove dirt and dust from UPS components. Major at check the talk of all connections, retorquing any power connections as needed. Provide a complete operational test of the system, including monitored battery rundown test to determine if any battery strings or cells are near the end of their useful lives. An AC ripple current and interconnecting cable resistance testing. For flooded cell batteries, the technician should inspect terminals of signs of corrosion, terminals for signs of corrosion and accumulation of dirt. Measure and record the voltage and current of the entire bank. Measure and record the voltage for each individual cell and test their electrolytes. Record and log measurements to track battery performance. What are the TAPM checks for the UPS? TA checks of UPS will include following checks in addition to the yearly PM checklist actions. Replacement of cooling fans, replacement of electrolytic capacitors in the capacitor banks, testing of SCRs or IGBTs, replacement of the spares as defined by the UPS manufacturer based on their lifetimes. What is the function of static bypass switch in UPS? A static bypass switch automatically and instantly transfers the load to the mains electricity supply when there is an internal fault or failure with the UPS system. What is the function of maintenance bypass switch in UPS? An external maintenance bypass switch enables a UPS system to be electrically isolated, taken out for the maintenance for safe service work or UP unit replacement without any dis disruption to the load. So friends, I hope this information was useful for you and you will take advantage of it for cracking your electrical engineer's job interview. Please like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more such videos. Thank you friends.